it's a lot of kit. Hey guys, welcome back to Hectic Hema. Today we're going to be looking at and reviewing the Superior Fencing Starter Kit number one. We'll be going through everything that's been included in this kit and whether we think it delivers bang for your buck. Before we get started, please drop us a like and a subscribe. It really helps us grow as a channel and it helps us know that you want us to bring you more content. So let's get started. Straight off the bat, there is an awful lot of kit for a very, very, very reasonable price, I would suggest, in this kit. Uh, my honest opinion when I saw it was, wow, that's a lot of kit for that price point. Um, one of the things we're massively uh, involved in in this channel is thinking about how we can get people into the hobby of HEMA with the minimum possible expenditure. And actually, price-wise, I've been absolutely blown away whenever I've looked at Superior Fencing for their kit. They seem to be, um, they seem to be delivering decent quality kit for a very decent price, in my opinion. And that was only reinforced when I got this kit. Now there'll be a number of review videos for this kit out there, but I wanted to stick this out, guys, because we're all about getting you started in the hobby or bringing new stuff in the hobby which is affordable and decent so it's not going to wear out on you let's talk about price point first i got this kit in total for 449 dollars and 65 cents that's us dollars um, in british pounds that's a total of 281 pounds and 11 pence at the time of recording this video the total price of the kit without shipping would have been 270 US dollars, about 217 dollars at the time of filming. And that was with a 10% discount that uh, Superior Fencing just threw on top. With, a to with the shipping, it came to a total of 333 dollars. Uh, that is 267 pounds and 73 pence for those in GB. What did we get for that price point? An awful lot of kit, like loads and loads of kit. I was really blown away. I didn't pay any customs charges. I had no uh, additional import charges with it. It was just shipping um, and the price all thrown in and they sort it out and it just arrived here and I had no issues with getting the gear in. I'll talk about shipping afterwards, but um, I was really pleasantly surprised actually, especially from um, receiving shipping from Pakistan, which is where I believe Superior Fencing are based. So, what did I get in this kit? Um, and I'm not the only person actually in my club to have this kit because uh, I turned up and everyone was like, wow, that's a lot of kit for a, you know very little money, um, in, if you put it in perspective in the HEMA community, so to speak. So what did I get? Well. An awful lot of additional protection, um, as well as some decent basic fencing stuff. So let's talk about um, this protection here, then I can clear off the table a little bit as I go along. So let's start here. One of the first things included is a gorget. It's, um, what to say about it, it's decent. Um, it has reinforced protection at the front here, literally on the, um, on the neckline there is some kind of hard plastic interior with some foam padding um, it's decent it's hard it has a velcro strap at the side to adjust it to your neck size and along the sides for the collarbones and the front of the neck you have some softer foam padding it is what it is it's a decent gorget it's not it's not steel but it will really take it will, i think it will take some uh I think it will take some damage when you're using it with your fencing jacket and the uh, mask overlay that you're sent. And I'll get onto that in a minute. But that's the gorget. It, it is what it is. It's decent. It fits comfortably. And uh, importantly, if you wanted to, you could stick it over the top of your jacket or you could stick it under the jacket. Um, it is what it is. It works. It's comfortable. It's your standard kind of gorget protection. 
So I'll put that down there and get that out of the way and start clearing off the table as I go. Let's get to the forearm guards um, with the additional elbow guards that they come with. They're quite simple. Your standard kind of wrap around construction. What I like about them is that you can unstrap the elbow protectors, the elbow guards, and they have Velcro on the inside, which actually means you can extend it or shorten it. Now I'm I'm a bit <laughs> I'm more than a bit short. I'm about five six. Um, so it's important for me to be able to get equipment which isn't just standard size and actually be able to modify it in some way, shape or form. This gives me the ability just to shorten the arms a little bit. I mean, people always say I've got like monkey arms. Um, they're oversized for my height, but still I'm, I'm grateful for the fact that I can, um, I can adjust these to whatever size I need them for. Um, they're good, they're solid. It is a solid piece of kit. There is some hard plastic, you can hear me knocking there. Um, they're, they're pretty standard forearm protectors. They've got a nice padding on the inside. They go over the top of the jacket they send you and they strap on easily. There's not really much else to say about them. I like them. I think you can get all of this kind of kit separately from Superior Fencing on their website. This is their own brand, all of this. Um, I like them. Um, I definitely use them if I didn't have my heavy gloves, which I use. If I had a, um, a heavy glove, uh, which only covered up to the wrist, I'd, I'd be using these a lot more than I actually do. At the moment, I don't need to use them that much because I couldn't physically use these with the heavy gloves that I use. But are they good? Yes, they are. Would I use them with something like back sword? Most definitely something where... Um, I'm going to take some nice hits to the forearm and be left with some nice bruises. Um, I'd definitely consider this for something like Mesa, maybe. Um, if you're using back sword, maybe Sabre. I think it's a really good piece of kit. Um, it's nice, it's solid. Comes in a pair, obviously. And those are the forearm guards. Let's go on now to the knee pads. Um, I like these. Um, they're comfy. They have... Additional protection around the side of the knee, which is brilliant, so you don't get those nasty knocks to the side of the knee. There's some harder plastic on the inside with additional padding in between, and a hard plastic cup, and these brilliant little elastics to secure them onto uh, your trousers or your fencing pants. They're good. Um, something definitely to consider if you're doing things where you could get swiped to the knee, for example, long sword, something with a nice reach, which is really going to clip you around the kneecap, nasty hits. They're nice, they're light, um, they barely weigh anything. And when I've used them, um, they haven't felt constricting really, which is nice. They fit on nicely over the top of the fencing trousers that they send you. So that's the uh, knee protectors. So this is now where we get to the um, shin protectors, leg guards. Um, they're nice. I just wish I wasn't so short. Um, they come in one standard size and my legs are just shorter than the average human being, sadly, because I'm really short. I'm a hobbit. So um, it's my loss. But is it a good piece of kit for what it is? Yes, I can I can manage to move in them. They're good. Um, I don't have much cause to use them at this point in time because I don't go at the kind of intensity where people are swiping at my legs with real kind of malice, but they are decent. Um, I find them personally just a little bit uncomfortable, but that's not the fault of the design. Um, it's just because I'm short, to be blunt. Um, what I do like is you've got some additional ankle protection. So you've got some more of that kind of hard plastic with foam inlay at the bottom kind of going in. It fits comfortably. Like I said, I'm just a bit short. Um, so I find that the corners of these just kind of rub a little bit along the sides of my knee, which is a bit uncomfortable. I've played around with them a bit, left them a bit looser at the top, and it kind of negates that. Um, but just something to be aware of. Uh, short people, we often have this kind of problem if we're buying one size fits all, much like I'm sure tall people do. Um, 
but they fit reasonably well, uh, as you'll see in the video of me moving about later. Are they good? Yeah, they've got a nice kind of hollow between the plastic guard on the front. I'm not sure if you can see it there. And the actual um, leg guard itself. So you've got kind of little, you've got, you've got a grace area in between, which stops you getting hit quite so hard. I think they're nice. They work, they're solid. I trust my shins with them. Uh, and there is additional protection. I'll open these up, in fact. Because if I fold these out, you'll be able to see the kind of protection you have on the sides. So this hard plastic protection doesn't go all the way around the sides, obviously. You've got some more of this hard shell with foam insert at the back, something like that there, which wraps around the back of your calves quite nicely. It's, it's decent. It's decent. It fits, you know, I'm sure if you're an average size person, it will fit you well. Um, I like them. So, what else have we got? Um, let's get the mask overlay. So, this is the mask overlay. Um, the helmet is not included, obviously, with the starter kit. You get the mask overlay or the hood uh, with... Uh, the fencing kit that you order from it with uh, set one. What do I think of it? It's um, it's decent. I've been on a kind of learning journey using it. I love it. I absolutely love it for long sword and back sword. If you watch any of the videos I spar in, you'll see that you know I'm always using this when I'm using something which you know I've got the I've got the ability to get hit a bit harder. It has, you know, this great kind of um, tongue to go over the back of your neck. It's got that same hard plastic with additional padding on the back. You've got an adjustable strap there. And um, you've got some nice ventilation in the side. One of the things I do like about this, and I've had cause to rejoice for having it, is the mask overlay here has a hard plastic insert just here over the throat to add additional protection and I really like that because I've taken a really nasty thrust actually quite recently by a back saw. Now my, granted it was a synthetic back saw but I'm still very very glad I had it um, which caught me right in the throat and um, I felt it but it didn't hurt and I didn't end up choking um, because of this protection here. So I like it. Um, the only issue I've had with this hood is the fact that I don't find I can move my um, my neck well if I'm using something like rapier. Um, so what I tend to do is I take this off if I'm fencing with rapier uh, or small sword or something small like that, so lighter weapons where I don't have to worry about the back of my head so much. And um, I put this on when I'm dealing with a weapon which can deliver some significant impact and I'm grateful for that protection. Um, mainly because I do Italian styles of rapier combat, obviously my stance is completely different. If I'm doing long sword, I don't find that my movement is impeded by using this. Um, I really like it as a hood, and I've had, like I said, cause to rejoice for wearing it when I've had thrusts and hits delivered, especially to the throat area. It's good, I like it. The advice uh, is on the website to order one size bigger, I believe. Um, so I got a, I think this is the medium still. I think this is the medium and it fits my mask well. Um, and I haven't had any issues getting it on. Um, just be aware, I find that it works better when you get the hood, if you really pop it back over the rubber rim of your mask that goes around the actual metal of the mask itself. And that way it locks it in nicely and it stops it rising up in your face as I discovered when I was fencing against the chap with Polish Sabre at my club and I ended up being half blind at one point but that's user error as opposed to kit malfunction. Let's talk about the fencing trousers you get with a fencing kit. What do I think about them? They're fantastic. Um, you get them custom made to your measurements to your custom colours for absolutely no additional cost, just like with the jacket, and I think just with the hood. So as a little person, I found this really, really useful um, because these are actually fitted for me. Um, they are the standard 350 Newton variant. 
They come with nice padding on the fronts of the legs and on the hips and go around the side and you've got additional protection on the knee. You've additionally got these molly systems here which can be used to attach those knee pads that we were talking about before so they don't fall off. I really like them. You've got the additional straps on the sides here to cinch them in at the waist and you've got a decent zip with a Velcro fastening at the top. One of the things I really love about these trousers actually is they come with pockets. Um, and pockets are always good, especially let's say if you're training outside or something and you need to quickly pop something in your pocket. Um, they're really good. Obviously, don't fence with anything dangerous in your pockets. Don't get caught out. But let's say you're traveling somewhere or you're going to the club and you've got your gear on, you've got some pockets to store some stuff, which is really, really good. I think they're holding up reasonably well. The only nicks I've got on the fabric itself are from a, um, from a back sword, which obviously took some nicks in a fight and caught me. Other than that, they're holding up perfectly fine and I haven't felt anything. Um, I've taken some nice hits with them uh, on and they've been really really comfortable additionally they come with these braces with quick release on them which is good they've also been fastened to the loops of the uh, to the trousers with this velcro fastening here which means that you can take them off when you need to wash stuff i like them they're good um, they're definitely worth the money i paid for them so let's talk about this fencing jacket then again it's been made to my measurements in my colors at no additional cost with the additional benefit at no additional cost of having these ventilation buttons put on the back. I believe they also do ventilation slits in the back of the jackets as well. I chose to have these kind of buttons put in for ventilation, which are really, really good. Um, this is what I'd class as a medium weight jacket. Uh, some, you know, something that you could jump in and use for long sword. It's not in that upper range of protection, really, really thick, but it's got a nice decent amount of padding on it, which means I can comfortably take hits on it all day long. So where do I use this? I use this often for um, rapier and long sword and back sword. So a variety of weapons and I find that it works particularly well with the long sword back sword area where you need that additional protection and um, yeah you, you don't sacrifice too much mobility for it it's nice obviously it arrives stiff it's being worn in nicely there's a nice level of flexibility in it uh, the padding is decent let me open this bad boy up you can see it's got a decent enough lining on the inside it feels thick it feels like it's got protection on it. It's got a nice collar line which rises up nice and high to catch any blows. The zip is very robust. It is a good quality zip. I've not had any issues with it. Comes with a nice little um, cord on it with a plastic tag, which I find particularly helpful when I'm closing it up. And there's decent amounts of Velcro on it to keep it shut as well. Um, it takes a little bit of breaking in. I've not had any issues uh, with this riding too short or restricting my movement up and down. Again, it's got this nice, uh, it's got a lot of movement underneath the arms, as you'll see from the movement video, which I'll put up. I really, really like this. On top of um, the rest of the kind of protective elements on it, what I really like about superior fencing is that they have these little mollies that they kind of sew on here. I'm sure other guys do as well, but they do on this jacket, which means that you can slot on additional pieces of upper arm protection and shoulder protection onto the jacket itself. I really like it. It's taken a little bit of breaking in, just like any piece of thicker uh, fencing gear, um, but it's working well. I've had no complaints over it. And in fact, everybody's thought with the cost and colors that it's really be really quite cool. And it inspired my friend to go and order his own set, actually, which he got in blue and black as opposed to green and black. Um, there's a whole variety of colours you can get with these jackets and trousers. I, they're just fantastic. I'm really in love with it. Let's talk about those items of kit that aren't on the table at the moment. 
we've got the superior fencing socks, uh, which are literally just some black fencing socks with a superior fencing logo on them. One size fits all. I use them, they're in the wash. Make up your own minds. They were a nice little inclusion in the kit, in my opinion. The other thing that's not on the te uh, table is the Holy Holy Groin Guard. Um, it is a groin guard, it protects you. It has a plastic cup which slots in and out, which means that you can throw the actual strap itself in the wash and get that nice and clean whilst you disinfect the plastic cup. It is what it is. It works well um, and it's a nice inclusion in the kit. Is it going to turn heads? I hope you're not in a position where it is going to turn heads. It will protect you and you'll be grateful for it if you get hit. Okay, so let's talk about the final piece of kit that we've got here, which is the fencing bag, the kit bag. Um, what do I think? It's good. Uh, I fit in pretty much everything that I need to in here, uh, including a buckler, a push, a large buckler, not one of the little ones. Um, it's, it's adjustable. You have this little clip that comes down depending on the size of the weapon you're using. It goes down right to here. I don't know what you'd be carrying, uh, which would be that small in terms of weaponry, but you know, it, it folds up if you need to. Um, it's adjustable at the ends, depending on the size of the blades that you're using and carrying with you. It's got a decent amount of storage inside. Um, I managed to fit in um, a few synthetic blades, about three synthetic blades, a long sword, if I need to, I can fit in some fencing foils, you know, as small sword simulators, my fencing jacket in there with my heavy gloves, uh, and that's just in the main compartment. So you can kind of get an idea of the, there's a lot of storage space in there. I like it. Um, we've, what I really like about this bag though, is these pockets here. Um, they're really nice and deep. I can fit in my lighter gloves. I can even fit in my manuscripts. So my nice big A4 manuscripts go in there and my smaller ones go in this little pocket here. I can also use some of my, my cleaning kit and various other utensils that can kind of go in there to kind of maintain my kit. I think it's really good. The inside of the bag has this nice kind of um, rubberized lining so it's tough wearing it's not just that cheap guitar bag material um it's got this kind of waterproof material on the inside is the bag waterproof no it isn't that's not what i'm saying but it's made of this kind of rubberized material on the inside so you get an idea of what it's like it's nice also because it comes not just with a carry handle on the side but kind of full on backpack straps sewn onto it with a nice amount of padding on the shoulders if you're carrying heavy kit. It's good, it is what it is. It will help you carry your kit from A to B and I was very grateful to have it included because it meant that all my HEMA stuff could go in here and I could carry it all in in one go basically. Obviously your mask isn't gonna fit in there, um, carry that as you will but I like it. I've managed to get most of my kit in there before, um, depending on how selective you're going to be and how big your arsenal is, I should say. But I like it. It's a good quality bag and it's a nice addition to the kit. Okay, so let's talk about placing an order with Superior Fencing. You cannot do it through their website. You have to do it through their email address. So you email them with your order and all your custom measurements and what you want, and then Superior Fencing get back to you and they confirm and they give you a price and how you pay. How do you pay? There's four ways to pay. You've got bank transfer or wire, you've got Western Union, MoneyGram or PayPal. Uh, I chose the PayPal option, but be aware that any PayPal transactions uh, have an additional 5% fee on them. So let's talk about the only issue I've had with superior fencing, and that's the case of sending off emails and getting responses. Like I said, you email through the website and then you get a confirmation back with the price and then you pay your money. That's when the issues kind of started for me in terms of the backward and forwards. Um, I had to sometimes send two or three emails in order to get a response and chase up where my order was to make sure that they got my money. Um, to make sure that everything was going all right with my order. Um, and it would have been just nicer not to have to send off two or three emails. 
Um, but I appreciate that I think there is, um, I think it's Farhan, he is, seems to be the only person who sends emails, so I imagine he's probably swamped at points. Um, that's my only gripe with them. The communication can be a little bit um, hit and miss. Shipping. Um, shipping, I was really pleasantly surprised, actually, because um, if I was worried about, you know, the lack of communication sometimes with emails, I was really, really impressed with the speed of shipping. I was expecting it to take three, four weeks, maybe, to arrive here. And actually, I think I got it something like within a week or week and a bit once the order had been completed and shipped. It was really quite fast, um, far faster than I expected. It was um, so I was really massively impressed with the shipping. Um, and this is something, you know, how soft them. I don't know how they work that magic, but they got it to me very, very quickly. So to sum it up, would I recommend all this kit to you? as a good starter kit for money. Yes, I really, really would. Um, email correspondence aside, I've said enough about that. The kit is fantastic. It turns heads uh, when you enter the club in it. It's protective, it functions, it's really, really good. And the sheer amount of kit that I got for, you know, just shy of 340, like 350, Dollars. That's two hundred and eighty-one pounds, roughly, in in GB pounds. Um, is absolutely astounding. I can't think of another place I would have got so much kit for that price. And actually, as somebody who wanted like to have a full kit of stuff, uh, all matchy matchy, so to speak, it's brilliant. I got it all through from one uh, from one dealer for a really, really good price, and it arrived in really, really good time. To my measurements, you can also get logos uh, for your club stitched onto them um, for an additional price, but don't quote me on the prices because I don't know them. I haven't done that myself. Superior fencing, I honestly think, are probably bang for buck. The amount of equipment for the price you're paying probably the best place I've seen on the internet at this time. I'll be happily proved wrong. If there are any other places you think are better, please do link them in the comments so people know where to find them. And I'm happy to take a look at these things as well myself because it gives me the opportunity to experiment and see what my friends think as well. As always, like and subscribe, help us grow as a channel, and next time we'll be bringing you more good HEMA content uh, looking at reviewing the Red Dragon Hema Longsword, which is a new product, I believe, from the Red Dragon line. Until then, stay safe, have fun, keep doing Hema, and I'll see you next time.